When we launch Revit, the first thing we see is a Revit home starting view. It's divided by sidebar and the main section where we can see the recent projects. As we progress with using Revit, the list will grow. So it might be useful to sort it or filter it using those tools. If you are used to the old Revit home version, you still have a toggle to go back to the old version where when there was clear division between models, which are basically project and families. Families are all components that go into project definition like furnitures, windows, doors and other small elements. So it's very important part of the project, but we are just starting with Revit. So we will use objects that are made by someone else. So we don't have to worry about the definition of that. This is pretty complex. And I have a separate course that is focusing on this subject. I will go back to the new Revit home style. And a very useful thing here is that we can actually pin the project. So if you are working on a particular project, you can always pin it to the front of the list and you will have an easy access to it when you open a Revit. You can also sort it by name or type or if you would like to split families from models, you can also filter it. On the sidebar, you have also this division between models and families so you can open or create a new project or open or create a new family. Here we have also Autodesk projects, which is cloud solution. So we will also not use that. You can access your projects through clouds. So you don't go through Windows folders, but basically look for a Revit file through here. We also have a My Insight tab which is actually a tab that I rarely use, but it might be useful for the beginner user. It will track your activity in Revit and sometimes give you some additional tips on how to use Revit. You can learn more about Insight and what exactly it is, clicking on this link. At the bottom of the sidebar, you have useful links like community forum, customer support or online help, but we also have what's new here where we can learn some new exciting features that are going to be published uh, with a new version. So it's a also nice place to learn new skills.